In this lesson, we're going to learn how to export with Filmora 11. So we already learned how to import footage, edit them, and now it's time to export the video. Right over here, I have a sequence that has an audio track right here. It has two videos, an effect, and a transition. So it's, it's a video consisting of different elements, and we're going to export it in this lesson. So there are different ways to export in Filmora. The most obvious one is right here. You can see the button is pretty big. You can also go up here to export and choose the option that's suitable for you. So let's go ahead and hit this button. It's going to validate our sources and we get this export panel. So I got this window right here. We are in the format tab right here. This is basically where you get to choose your format, the resolution and the name and where it, uh, you're going to save it to. So on the left, we have a lot of formats and it really depends on where you're going to upload your video. And depending on that, you would change the format suitable for you. If you're going for video, I would recommend choosing MP4 because it's the most general formats out there, especially for video, because once uploading it to different platforms, you will have no problem because most platforms accept MP4 for uh, videos. If you're only going to export the audio, you could go for MP3 right here which means that it will not have the video and you will only be exporting this song that you kept down here. And if your video doesn't have a song or any sound effects, then you're just going to get a black screen. So we're going to choose MP4 right here. Over here, we get to put the output descriptions. You can name your video. Let's call this cars. There's videos of cars in it. Below, we have the save to option, which you can choose where you want this video to be exported to. Right now it's in Filmora Output, which is a folder on your computer. You can put it in your downloads, documents, or desktop. You can also hit others to browse another location. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. Next we have resolution, which is about the quality of your exported video. Over here we have some presets. We have good, better, and best. Again, depending on how you're going to use this video, you would choose these settings. With the best quality, you're getting the best quality in terms of frame rate, resolution, bitrate, rate, and all that. But if you choose good, you can see that we lost some bit rates. And um, I would recommend going on best so that your YouTube videos or videos that you export using Filmora have the highest quality possible. I wouldn't recommend changing this stuff unless you're doing it for a specific reason. Just leave things at, as they are. And you can look over here once you hit OK you can see the size. So right now it's 84 megabytes. And let's say the platform that I'm trying to upload this video to has a limit of 50 megabytes. That way I know that I need to reduce the size. And I can do that by going in my resolution settings and going for good. Once I hit okay, you can see it dropped from 84 to 34. And now this is suitable for that specific platform that has a uh, upload limit of 50 megabytes. So again, pay attention to the platform and see if they have a size limit. And that way you can export it in a suitable way. Let's go for better. You can also use better if, if there's a 50 megabyte limit. Below it's telling you the duration or how long your video is. You can see down here it's 33. So we're getting only 33 of the uh, video. And below we have upload. Like mentioned in previous lessons, you all have a uh, Filmora drive that you get to upload uh, videos or projects onto. If you don't want it to be uploaded there, you can just uncheck this. I'm just gonna leave it on. It's a good way to uh, make sure your videos are safe on the internet, just in case something goes wrong with your device. Once you're done, you wanna hit export, but there are other options as well. So this was the format tab. Let's go to device. And this uh, tab is exporting things suitable for the devices that you see here. If I'm going to be exporting this video to be displayed on a, let's say, iPod, Filmora will give me the right resolution and the right size. So it's changing things in uh, here. It's changing the bitrate, the resolution, and that way I get a I get the perfect video for my iPod display. You can choose other things like Smart TV. You can see it became larger. You can go for iPhone, which is the same. Go for PSP, you can see it changed as well. And you can just choose any of these if you're going to be exporting this video for a specific device. You can also choose where you want this to be uh, exported, choose a name. And again, we can see the size of this exported video and the duration. The duration does not change unless you go back in your project and you 
uh, trim your video. Next, we have options for uploading this video directly to your uh, platform. For example, we have YouTube right here, which I can sign in and not only export my video, but allow it to be uploaded to my YouTube channel immediately. So instead of exporting, closing Filmora, opening Chrome and going in my YouTube to upload my video, I can just do it directly from this window. And this saves you a lot of time. So it has the settings that you would get if you were to upload a YouTube video. These boxes are probably familiar to most of you guys that have uh, YouTube channels. And it's the same thing here. So you get to choose your category. You got like uh, music, pets and animals. If I have cards and traffic in my video, which we do, I'm going to put maybe people and blogs. Maybe this was my vlog from, maybe this was a vlog that I took on a day that there was a lot of traffic. You're going to change the name here. You can write maybe vlog um, stuck in traffic. Again, you have the option to choose your resolution settings. Right now it's 1920 by 1080, which is the default landscape dimensions you can go in settings this button right here and you can choose from good better or best depending on how much quality you want your youtube video to have if you have a higher bit rate it will obviously take longer to upload compared to if you had a lower bit rate so it all depends on your preferences for your youtube channel once you're done you can hit ok but if you want to stick with the default let me go here you can just hit the default button which will bring you to Good. I'm going to hit OK. After you're done with your title and resolution, you can give it a description just like you would on YouTube. So a day in my life, for example. You need to tag this with things that are relevant to your video. I'm going to tag it with cars. And then you can choose the privacy setting, public, private, or unlisted. But just make sure before you do this, you're signed in. And then you can just hit export. It will export and then upload to your uh, YouTube channel. And that is perfect if you're doing this just for your YouTube channel. Similarly, we have Vimeo. So if you have a Vimeo account, you can do the same. Sign in, give it a title, resolution, description, and all that. And you can export and upload it directly to your Vimeo account. Finally, we have a DVD. If you want to put this video on a DVD, you can do it with Filmora. This is a really cool feature. So I'm going to export my video in two ways. One is with the current format and the settings that you see right here. I have checked upload to cloud. And another way is by uh, exporting it for one of these devices so we can see the difference. So I'm just going to go ahead and export this to a folder that I made. You get to choose what Filmora does after this. So we have do nothing, sleep, shut down. And once it's finished, it's going to automatically open the uh, folder that has the exported video inside. So I'm just going to minimize this. We get a message. And because I have checked the upload to cloud option, it's uploading this to my cloud. You can see it's 34% in. I can stop this uh, action, delete it, and go in my drive, maybe put it in a folder and do other things with it. So now that I have uh, exported that video to my device, let's go ahead and export it again, but for another, with other settings. So I'm going to name this the same thing. Let's do for, go for cars too. Save it to this folder. And let's go ahead and put it for an iPod. So it's pretty small. The size is small as well. Let's hit export. But notice how we don't have upload to cloud here. So once I do this, I cannot have this on my Filmora cloud unless I manually go there and upload it. But with the format tab, we can. So if you want to use this option, make sure you're here. But let's go ahead and export this for my iPod. Hit export. Get the same option here. There we go. So now I have cars, just cars and cars too. Let's go ahead and check the, the info here and we can see that it is indeed small and made for the iPod. You can check other things as well if you want. And let's go ahead and check the info for this. So just by the size alone, you can see how I, I was able to export one video in different ways using the options that Filmora gave me. So I made one for iPod and one for the screens. You can see the difference in size.
So this is great when you have one video, but you want to display them in different devices. You can just come here and export them multiple times in an easy way. Let's go ahead and remove these. And that was how you can export using Filmora. As you saw, we uh, really easily were able to export one video, the sequence, in two ways using the settings that Filmora provides for you. And since we have the device option, you now have the ability to export your clips in a more easy way and have different outputs for different reasons. So you can uh, just with a few clicks, export videos for your, let's say, Instagram account, Facebook account, YouTube, Vimeo, and any other platform that you have. And because it's all in one place, it saves you a lot of time and it's just the most efficient way to export your videos. So that was pretty easy. Let's go ahead and manage our uh, Filmora drive right here. And I have just uh, finished exporting these two videos. I'm going to hit this little share button, share link. And I can, uh, like we did previously, we can make sharing forms for other people to see this video. You can put an access code, which is like a password that they can put in. This is a password right here. You can put whatever you want. You can also put no code. So if this is like a top secret video, you can put an access code to make sure that only the people you want uh, can see the video. But if it's nothing uh, special, you can put no code. There is a validity period, which is how long they have to um, download. You can put it for seven days, one day, 30 days. Again, it depends on your uh, the person you're sending this to. And once you're done, you can create link. And there we go. This is the link. And I can copy the link to my clipboard on my device and give them the code, which we don't have a code right now. But I can use this link to uh, let people come into my drive, my Filmora drive, and they can get to see this video on my drive. So let's copy the link and code. I'm going to open Chrome right here and paste the link that we got right over here and then just put this in. And there it is, cars.mp4. I can download it. I can download Filmora and we can see that it expires in 29 days because we set it to 30 days. I can see the date and I can just look at the video right here. This is a standard player. You can pause it, change the audio. You can make it full screen, the uh, resolution and all that. So everything that you need uh, for video editing in terms of exporting and sharing, Filmora has provided them in one program. And that's really awesome. Let's see how we can export videos with HDR settings. Now, what is HDR? HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. And basically videos that are shot in HDR give you more detail in the bright parts of the video and in the dark parts. So you're going to get more detail in your video if it's shot in HDR. You can shoot HDR videos with your mobile or with your camera. On the latest version of Filmora, you now have the ability to export videos with HDR settings. I've imported two videos. These are in your resource pack as well. You can see one of them is labeled HDR and the other is normal. I will use a split screen to show you the difference. I shot both of these videos with one camera and there is one subject. On the right, I will put the normal video and on the left, I will put the HDR video. Let's extend this, hit OK. And you can see that there is a clear difference between the one on the right and the one on the left. The one on the left is a little bit warmer than the one on the right. And we're obviously getting more detail here compared to the normal video. So this is what the HDR looks like. Again, you can use your uh, smartphones to film in HDR or your camera. Now, if you have a video like this with this much detail, you don't want to export it normally. You want to keep those details even after you exported the video. So that's where the HDR export comes in. Keep in mind that you can only switch to this mode if your device meets the GPU acceleration conditions. To check that, head over to your preferences. Go to performance and make sure that these are checked both of them. 
And let's just close this. So my device meets those uh, conditions and I have both of them turned on. Now I'm going to export my video. I got rid of the split screen and now I have my HDR video on my timeline. Let's hit the export button. And now you can see there's a new uh, row right here called export color space. We did not have this previously. This is new on the latest version of Filmora 11. So this right here, SDR uh, Rec 709 is the default value. We can of course change it and get another value. We'll see that in a second. But basically you get this color space for most of these formats, except formats where let's say it's a music. MP3 is not a video format, so obviously we're not getting that option. So you want to make sure that your video encoding is H.264 or HEVC. So you see HEVC, we get that. H.264, we get that too. But if I choose this MP3 or M4A, I'm not getting those options. So you want to make sure that you're choosing the right format. I will choose HEVC MP4 for this example. Head over to settings. And now I'm seeing the bar right here where I can change my color space. But if I choose something that is not H.264 or HEVC, for example, AVI, if I hit settings, I do not have the option to change the color space. The only thing I'm getting is the default value. So when you choose the right format, you will get more options for your color space. Head over to settings. And we are going to take a look at this bar right here. Let's take a look at the drop down menu right here. We have three options and each of these are different. So the SDR Reg 709, which is the default value, is faster than the HDRs right here. So you would choose these color space options depending on the monitor that is going to play your video. So if you have a HDR monitor, you would want to go for HDR Rec 2100 PQ. But if you have an SDR monitor, you would want to go for this option. And this right here is the default. So if you don't know which one to choose, just stick with this one. I will choose the last option. Once I'm finished and I've used the, uh, I've adjusted the other options, I can hit OK and start exporting. It's going to export my video. And there we are. Now with these export settings, you can also use normal videos. It's not only limited to HDR videos, but you're exporting with HDR settings. So you're taking this normal video and you're preparing it for an HDR monitor. So it doesn't have to be shot in HDR. I just wanted to show you the difference. You can just take a normal video and export it with the same color space, same one that we just chose, and you're still able to export it. And that is how you can export your videos with HDR settings using Wondershare Filmora.